For some international students entering the UK, you may need to clear a self-isolation period, also known as quarantine. During this time, you would need to stay inside your accommodation and not mix with anyone inside or outside of your household. Depending on what country you're traveling to the UK from or through, the advice may change. The UK government is currently operating under a traffic light system, categorizing countries as red list, amber list, or green list. We recommend that you regularly check the gov.uk website for the most up-to-date information. Travelers from countries on the red list will face the highest restrictions. Before travel, you'll need to pay and book for your quarantine hotel, where you'd need to spend 10 days upon arrival in England. With this booking, you would also include two COVID-19 tests for you to take during this time period. For students traveling from red list countries, we offer financial support. You can find out more information about this on our website, including the terms and conditions. For travelers from amber list countries, you will need to self-isolate for 10 days in your accommodation. During this time, you'll need to take two COVID-19 tests. You may be able to leave your self-isolation early if you pay to take part in the test to release scheme. For travelers from a green list country, you will not need to self-isolate unless you are informed that you have traveled with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. You must also take a COVID-19 test on or before day two after you arrive in England. The rules change frequently, so it's very important to double check the rules before you travel. The University of Salford has implemented team quarantine to help and support students once they arrive in England. To access this support, please let us know that you're self-isolating by completing the self-isolation form on our website. So team quarantine is an effective program that has been initialized by the University of Salford Student Union to guide you, to advise you, to be there for you. I'm one of the passports so I can guide you there. My self-isolation experience was, was amazing. An absolutely brilliant initiative by the University of Salford. They helped us get groceries and they told us ways we could um, isolate properly and fun things to do. The isolation period is quite good because if we want to talk to someone then they are there. In addition to preparing for university life, it is very important that you take care of yourself. You do fun stuff that can help you relax so that you can prepare yourself adequately for the journey ahead of you. My top three tips to help students keep entertained during self-isolation would be to prepare ahead, to read your reading list, which is available online so you can prepare for your studies for the upcoming year. Secondly, it would be to research into the area, Manchester and Salford, so you know what to do after self-isolation as well. And lastly, just to keep active and exercise in your room during self-isolation as well.